Wollen wir uns dieses Rick jetzt mal angucken? Ich glaube, wir wollen uns das Rick jetzt mal angucken, weil das sieht richtig krass aus. Das sieht richtig gestört aus. Mal gucken, was das hier gibt. Das sieht das da richtig krass aus. Ich muss aber ganz schnell los. Ich weiß gar nicht, wo ich zuerst hingucken soll. Was zum Geier passiert hier? Das ist ja alles. Hi guys, I uh, just want to give you an update on my rig at home. Uh, this has been the most significant change I've done to my system um, to date. And, uh, and I think it's, it, it's looking really, really awesome. And I can finally say that I'm pretty sure it's finished. Um, it's a it's absolute pleasure to drive and an absolute beast to look at as well. So let's go through the, the, the changes I've done. So first of all, um, I've put some rollers on my belt harness. So now the belt will actually pull back on me instead of coming up and down. Um, put it on some rollers there. And I've also mounted the butt kicker on the back of the seat. So what this does is it allows for maximum Feeling. Alter Verwalter, was ist denn? Pedale. Insane. Wheelbase. Insane. Lenkrad. Insane. Dash. Insane. Buttkicker am Rücken. Äh, ich weiß gar nicht, was... Oh! With minimum uh, strength and output. So what I was noticing with the butt kicker down there was after about 15, 20 minutes, it would get too hot and it will shut down. So now that I've mounted it up there, I get the full vibrations through my seat, but at a lot less power. So um, that's a really cool change. Uh, next, I've done a new fan system. So if Anthony comes through this way, oh yeah. So the fan now is got a duct there and it's direct, so the fan's directly under it. There's no more tubing. Um, so remember before there's quite ugly <laughs> tubing going there, routing it to the front. Um, but now it's all, all in one neat and it keeps me really cool uh, in those long sessions. It's really handy actually, it feels really good. Uh, second, secondly, uh, sorry, thirdly, are my pedals. So yes, I've gone the active pedals. Um, They're amazing. I mean, they they feel awesome. The adjustability on them is fantastic. The feeling you get. From also hier könnte man wirklich in, in den Titel schreiben, das ist ein 20k Rick. <lacht> Alter, wer weiter? Ich gehe krachen, Junge. Das ist wirklich, das ist high end, high end, high 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 super end. From the tactile with the engine vibration, the ABS is really cool. Are they worth the money? Oh, I don't I don't think so. So. You know, What? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, I mean, if they were like four thousand dollars, I'd say yeah, definitely they're they're the best. But but at eight thousand for two pedals, it's yeah, uh, it's really. If you're not driving an ABS car, it really feels like a standard load cell pedal. You know, um, you know, we've done quite a bit of driving on it now, and uh, yeah, it does feel cool. But is does it warrant that price tag? No, I'd say definitely not. Aber kosten die nicht pro Pedal zwei? Also vier, theoretisch? Vielleicht hat er die gleich bei Release gekauft? Und um, now the biggest change here is I've gone to a 45-inch OLED LG Ultra Gear Gaming Monitors. If you have a look at the curvature on it, so that's an 800R curve. So in reality, if we got another two monitors, I'd have a full semicircle around me. Um, these are amazing. They, I, they had a bit of Die sehen gar nicht so groß aus, Chat. Also ich habe gar keine Angst davor, meine anzubauen. <lacht> Trouble getting the 240 hertz to work, but eventually we've got them to run at 144, which is plenty. Uh, I don't think the eye can see any any faster than that anyway. Um, but you know, when I sit in it, all I see is just monitor, uh, and the color definition is fantastic. Um, it's really cool. So, all right, I'm just going to have a quick drive. You're going to see my terrible driving skills, uh, and I'm going to do a bit of a bit more of a talk. I was just close the blind off. 
Oh, yeah, now, yeah, for Vita. you know, when I, I was a kid, just going to the arcade parlors and looking at all those games and just dreaming of one day having my own setup at home, and I'm just so lucky to be able to to finally. Also, da, da, ich bin ganz ehrlich mit euch, ich habe ja wirklich sehr viel Zeug schon. Ne? Und ich würde ja sagen, wir sind schon so relativ am Ende der Nahrungskette fast angekommen. Aber hier drauf bin selbst ich absolut neidisch. Zu 500 Prozent bin ich darauf neidisch. Komplett, von oben bis unten. Wir haben so etwas this crazy. Es ist wirklich ein Traum, come true. So, ich werde mich strap myself in, safety first. Do my belt. And I forgot my motion software. It's just gonna initialize and watch for the movement. It this thing does swing quite a bit. Cool. Sorry, da muss ich aber richtig los. <laughs> Was zum Geier, ey! So, immediately, if you have a look at my race boots, they are new Sparco. Um, <lacht> Die Schuhe sind richtig gut. Race boots, just manufactured. They're really cool. So I can feel the vibrations of that engine right through my pedal, which is awesome. Um, and then the brake, we've got it to set to about 90 kilos of force. Uh, and it's, yeah, quite firm. It's, it's really nice. Mid-lane speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour. So we're just doing a driver's view here. Anthony's just put the camera right in front of my face. Okay, it's just too leise. using the camera to drive now. Oh, oh, yep, told ya. <laughs> Sorry about that. So all, just remember guys, all the money in the world won't make you a fast driver. All the equipment in the world won't make you a fast driver. You still need to have the talent. Alter, das ist so um, insane. If anyone can help me find some talent, that would be great. So right now I'm driving the F3 around Fuji, uh, and this is a non-ABS car. So on lockup, I'm not feeling anything through that brake pedal. So. <lacht> Boah, ja, das ist ja richtig geil, das Ding. So, you know, it's just like a normal load cell pedal, really. Oops, broke. Forgot that corner. So if you have a look at the screens, like if I just turn my head, I just see screen left and right. There is my vision is just all blocked up. Wow, der Spaß ist sehr teuer. Das, das ist hier, das, das ist wirklich das absolute Ende der Fahnenstange. Da, 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 also mir würde nichts einfallen, wo ich sage, vielleicht das Lenkrad, da könnte man vielleicht noch mal. Aber das ist das absolute Ende der Fahnenstange hier. This track das kostet weit über 20.000. Weit über 20. Like das geht schon so an die, in, würde ich sagen, an die 30. So yeah, I mean the, the curvature of the monitors is really severe but it's just so natural it's so it's so cool having such a big uh radius there oh this belt's trying to strangle me nee, 50 würde ich jetzt nicht sagen. and yeah like i said i'm not the fastest guy not even the not even a mid-pack driver but I smile every time I get off this machine. It's just so awesome. And that's what it's all about, eh? just having fun. 
and I'm just uh <laughs> hey everyone really really happy to be able to share this with you guys so... that's okay everyone <laughs> all right I might stop the car also schon alleine das dash sind also das dash sind 800 <lacht> die pedale sind 4000 die wheelbase 15 das windzeug weiß ich nicht wie teuer das ist also der hat ja, ist das 4D quasi, 4D Motion, also mit Rutschen hoch und runter und die Bildschirme wahrscheinlich auch schon 3000. Das Gurt-Ding wird nicht so, günstig sein. It, guys. Um, just wanted to say, yeah. Nee, 15.000 ist zu wenig. Also 15 kostet ja schon allein das Motion. Hope that's given you some inspiration, given you some. Ja, ja, mir, da, da, das hat mir richtig viel Inspiration für mein Bankkonto gegeben. <lacht> um, you know, ideas on what you could do with your own machine at home. And um, yeah, good luck with your racing career. See you next time. Bye bye. Ay, caramba. Das ist halt. Äh Eieiei. Ei, ei. Das ist wirklich das Ende der Veranstaltung. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wie krass, ey. Da komme ich halt auch selber nicht aus dem Staunen raus. Also ich, ich habe das, letztens habe ich das schon gesagt, vor, vor zwei oder drei Jahren, da war sowas noch nicht mal ansatzweise denkbar, weil es für den, sag ich mal, gemeinen Markt nicht vorhanden ist, ne? Wenn man sich jetzt mal überlegt, was man sich alles so ans Rick klatscht und was man alles haben kann und also und ich habe wirklich schon viel gesehen. Ne? Also ich bin viel gefahren, habe viel angefasst, viel, viel eigenen Scheiß auch schon fabriziert und verbaut, aber es gibt halt wirklich immer noch Menschen, die Die schaffen das, dass das noch ein bisschen krasser ist.